amongst all this, you have this new thing called behavioral economics, which is so hot right now. This is Cass Sunstein, um, who is working in the, for the Obama administration at the moment, who wrote a book called Nudge, which you're quite likely heard of. His co-author was a man called um, Richard Thaler, who is working for the uh, Cameron government, the Nudge unit, as it's called, in the UK. One of the concepts that is important or that um, influenced the develop development of behavioral economics was the concept of bounded rationality, which is not a new concept. It was developed around the middle of the 20th century. But the idea was, or is, that even when individuals are pursuing utility, like they were meant to be in the rational model, their decision-making processes are bounded by psychological and environmental constraints. So even if a person has perfect information, they might not have the desire, cognitive ability, or time to weigh up every possible choice. And, and, and this concept of bounded rationality was used to make the argument that people tend to rely on habits of thought or analogy to previous experience instead of weighing up true information in order to make a decision. That is, they rely on these things for heuristics. Behavioral economics um, seeks to draw on these new understandings of how people make decisions and to influence the choice environment. Um, influence the context within people make within which people make choices about what they're going to do, and intervene in ways that guide people towards making the decisions that are determined to be preferable. So this um, sh this uh, hotness, this popularity of behavioral economics, um, is associated with but didn't didn't wholly cause a proliferation of publications in the UK, which you, you might have seen, the UK Coalition's Nudge Unit, um, Cass Sunstein working for Obama, etc. I'm mentioning behavioral economics here for two reasons. One is to acknowledge that it's a major part of the current context when we're talking about behavior change. But it's not one that I have the time for us to talk about in detail today. But also because I want to use the behavioral economics party trick um, to make a point about effectiveness and appropriateness in relations to models and to behavior change more broadly. 